Very welcome. My name is Karin. I'm a tarot reader and a body therapist. And here on Zeitgeist Tarot, I do pick a card readings. And I thought I would be doing a little something different today with you um, and in the future. So very welcome if you are an air sign. Normally you have the zodiac sign readings that are only for Gemini's or only for Aquarius and only for Libra. But what if you are in a different collective? What if you are in a different group and the, and the, um, the reading does not resonate? So I thought I would be doing a little bit of thing different and let you choose. So you choose one of these piles and the reading is for you. So you have a little bit more of this intuition training because I'm absolutely sure you will, you will choose the right pile for you. Um, it always resonates, I'm so sure. And the things that do not resonate, you just leave them for others. That's no problem at all. So uh, if you're interested at all in a um, personal reading, you will find the information in the description box below. And then let's start into the reading and you choose pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three, as you want. If you want to stop the, the video, it's totally fine. Take your time to be guided to the, to the right pile. I'm sure you will. So let's start now with pile number one. So welcome, pile number one. If you chose pile number one, let's see what is in the cards for you. So first of all, we have discernment. Then we have to the sea. We have the restlessness, fortune, and vision. So what does this mean for you? I'm sure in the next days and the next week. So this is a reading, a timeless reading for the next weeks. Um, you will be asked to, um, to make sure that your vision, the visions you will have, because you will have a lot of, of visions. Um, this is a timeless reading, but um, by the time I'm recording this, we will have a full moon in Pisces in the next few days. So these um, these visions are really, really coming, coming to us right now. So in dreams or even in daydreaming or just like, like hunches or hints in, in, a, um, in a conversation. So you need to make sure that these visions that are coming to you um, are not blinding you. This is what I see with the kind of, of discernment. I need you to be very... Um, very aware of these, um, of the visions that are coming to you. They might make you restless. They might be a little bit um, overwhelming. They might be a little bit overclouding your judgment. I mean, with this, this full moon in Pisces, it's always a little bit... Um, uh, we, we always have this watery uh, feeling, these, these overwhelming feelings and these ideas that, um, that we are all connected and everything is, is going together. But this, this, um, this sometimes is a little bit illusionary. So please make sure that um, the visions and dreams and, and ideas you have, they don't take you too far off to the sea, actually. They don't take you too far off um the, the the reality of things because this is what might make you restless this is what might make you um feel anxious and uncertain of the future so this is the visions will be will be very very great um if you are able to really take these you see these these clouds she has around her head so if you are able to take away these clouds um, from from your um, from your mental mental load from your mind if you're if you're able to do this and um, and then if you if you are able to do this um, to the very clear eye um, you will have a certainly good fortune certainly good fortune is awaiting you in the next um, in the next weeks let's uh, so to speak. So let's see with some tarot cards what else we have for you. So I take jumpers with the tarot cards. The um, oracle cards are pre-selected 
and then I take jumpers. So what is the important message for pile number one in the next weeks? What is the important message? Oh, just one card. I can't believe it. So what is the important message? What does pile number one need to know? There we go. Anything else? Okay, well, these are a few more than I expected. Let's take them all and see what they have to tell us. So first of all, we have the Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords. There again, we have the same, the same theme that I was just uh, talking about. Um, we have the clarity of mind that will be very, very important for you to keep the clarity of mind um, to decide which path you are going to, to walk on, which path you are deciding to, to make your own, to explore in the next weeks. Please make sure that you have um, total clarity of mind before you, you go on to that path. So the next thing is we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords um, goes very well with the Queen of Swords in this case. Because the Knight of Swords, in this, in this very special deck, he's standing still. Normally in the, the very classical Rider Waite Tarot, you have this uh, Knight of Swords. It's the, it's, the most, um, it's the quickest, it's the most diligent of all, um, of all knights. And he's, he's galloping away. And, and this one is not. This one is standing still. This one is there. Um, even at the at the edge of the of this cliff and and thinking about where to go, so this is just like a confirmation of uh, of what we just uh, just said. And then we have the Empress and the Knight of Cups. So this is uh, this is quite beautiful to have. Um, as a result, it goes with the with the Fortune card. As I said, if you if you are able to discern able to to really think about what what the visions and dreams you have are telling you and if these are uh, too illusionary then to to bring some clarification into it if you're do, able to do that um then with the with the empress and the, um, the knight of cups um you will see that it will bring you much um certainty in your emotions as well so the, the discernment is not only in your mind, the discernment will be in your emotions as well. And it will bring you much, um, much needed, um, yeah, let's say fertility and abundance. The Empress is the, is the uh, personification of all four queens in the tarot deck. So this will be, you will be on top of it. You will be on top of the world, actually, if, you, if you're able to to make this discernment. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. And there again, we have a sort of a confirmation of what I just said. With um, the Ace of Pentacles, it will bring you abundance. It will make something very tangible if you're able to, to discern the visions, if you're able to, to keep apart the illusion from what is real. You will um, be starting something very um, or something you will be starting or something will be started in your life that will be very tangible and will be very successful and will bring um, as, as much financial rewards than uh, as, as, as much financial reward as, uh, as emotional rewards as well with the, with the Queen of Cups. So this is quite quite exciting. Quite quite wonderful reading. So let me finish with some oh I put those Far too away, far too too much away. So let me finish with some um, some trinkets here. So what do we have? What does pile number one need to know? Messages for pile number one. Okay, we have um, this this uh, little set of keys. Again, for me, it's this little set of keys is. Um, the key to this abundance, the key to this new energy that is that is very tangible. Um, if only you are not locking in, uh, locking yourself in into this this illusionary um, visions that that you have there. So um, they want me to put it on the on the eye here so that you can unlock your your visions in in, in a sense. And then we have this little feather. I can I don't know if you can see it. This little feather means 
that um, you need not be too you are an air sign right you are a gemini libra aquarius you wouldn't watch this uh, this video otherwise um so so please stay in in this uh, in this lightness of your being stay not too far in the clouds the the um the birds are not far up in the clouds but they are up in the sky so keep this lightness uh, to to yourself keep this lightness to your to your being to your to your personality and character um and do not think that now the discernment means you need to be very um well you need to be grounded in a way i'm a virgo so i <laughs> let me tell you you need to be grounded but um the the feather tells me you do not feel, you do not need to feel um too heavy and too um kept down in in a sense so please uh let your let yourself fly as you as you normally do so where do you want me to put this oh on the fortune very well so um this this um this character trait of yours this lightness this this being a little bit airy and and, and not up in the clouds but uh, but you know what i mean will bring you um certainly the fortune you need in the next weeks Wow, what a reading! So I hope it resonated. Uh, let me know in the comments if you if you liked it. Please subscribe my channel. It helps me to uh, to reach more people. And um, yeah, see you see you next time then. Bye. Welcome, Air Signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. If you chose pile number two, so let's directly dive in and see. Oh, what's coming to you? the unexpected is coming to you the really unexpected things and poised wow this is going to be a good reading i guess so the unexpected and poised and oh there it goes drama what else revenge and speculation wow okay so don't be afraid don't be afraid i do not see that this is very dramatic even though we have the drama card here um so what i see is that um something well the first thing i see first thing i see is that now i told you there was something unexpected coming up to you you will be speculating what is it what is it um and i i would suggest you do not do that I would suggest you just let the unexpected come to you because uh, with the poised card here I have absolutely no fright I have absolutely no um, no angst that this is going to be really really good for you um, this will be uh, you will be so so happy you will be totally fine with the unexpected thing and we will see later on with the tarot card what what is this uh, what this might be but please do not um find yourself going too deep into speculation and what could this be and what that, would this mean uh, we will see what whatever um information we will gather through the tarot cards and these will be the information that you need to know and everything else please just let it come to you um and <laughs> i'm a totally control freak myself i'm a virgo and i know what i'm talking about when i say um, it's really difficult sometimes to just let this go, to just let the unknown come to you. But this is really the message for you if you, show, if you chose pile two, uh, because everything else will end in drama. This is what I see with this, with this card. And um, it might, the, the revenge card here is um, Mars in, in Scorpio. So what I see here is more like um, if you... If you do not let this um, this unexpected thing just um, wash over you, I know this is this is for an air sign. It's it's not very comfortable. I can understand that, um, but this is the message for you, pile number two. Please allow yourself to stay calm in this in this thing because otherwise, uh, well, it will chop your head off, and we do not want that, do we? especially as an air sign you don't want to have to to have your your head chopped off okay so let's see with the um with the tarot cards what else we need to know so what 
what is this unexpected thing that the air signs that chose pile number two will encounter in the next few weeks so please what does pile number two absolutely need to know what is the most important information please let the tarot card speak so i'm taking jumpers and as I said, I want the really, really important information for you. No fluff, no bullshit, just what do you need to know? And I'm sure we will get something. Maybe it's just not the right deck. Yeah, I will take another deck. Let's see if we can make this one talk to us. So please, what is the really important information that pile number two needs to know about this unexpected thing. See, this one is talking to us. So what is the really important information that pile number two needs to know about this unexpected thing that will be happening in the next few weeks? Okay, that's it. Let's see. So... Um, First we have, let me, let me just put them in the right order when, how they fell. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Sun, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Three of Wands and we have the Two of Cups. So, um, there might be love in the air because the two of cups is the, is the last card that fell and it's definitely a card of partnerships so uh, if you're single and looking for love this might ex exactly be the unexpected thing that is coming to you uh, this love thing the new a new partnership a new relationship a new um, relationship that will make you very happy and you've been waiting for a long time now so um but this is just for some of you it's not for all of you so one one very important message i see here in the four of cups and this is this is quite interesting because normally the four of cups is more like a card of of boredom of um not being attentive not wanting to uh to accept the gift that is coming and in this case, uh, you see this, this very, very beautiful cup in the, in, in the background and she's just sitting there and she's, uh, she's meditating. She's not um, just contemplating these three cups uh, in front of her because she's, uh, she's just concentra concentrating on them. She's really going inwards and this going inwards, this being very, very calm, this being very, very... Um, close to herself this being very being one with with her higher self being one with her deeper self being one with <clears throat> excuse me with her lower self um, this being one with herself as I, as i said in the beginning um is making possible that this very very beautiful gift the unexpected is um is coming it's coming from right behind her and it's the knight of pentacles so it might not be um a very quick thing it might not come very very uh, well it will be surprising because it's unexpected still but it doesn't say it's coming like like a tower moment it's not coming like whoa and there it is it's more like well it's taking its time and uh, it might unfold a little bit shyly, a little bit um, um, step by step. But then again, the thing, the message for you here is please be one with yourself. Go meditate, go contemplate on, 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 on nature. Um, be in your, um, in your safe space either outside or, or indoors be in your in, in your safe space because this is what what will bring the unexpected closer to you this is what will bring the gift of the unexpected closer to you this is this is what i want to say and you can't rush it there's no perfect moment so you can't decide when this will come it will come in its own time 
Um, but I can guarantee you with the, with the two of cups, either it's a, it's a partnership or not, um, it will certainly bring you much joy. It, make you, it will make you feel very much alive. Um, it will be like, <laughs> I, have, I still have this idea one, of, of oneness. You, you're meditating, you're, you're going inwards. And by doing this, you will be able to, to receive what's coming from outside and you will shine like the sun. You will feel very much alive. You'll feel um, warm. And as I said in the beginning, don't be afraid. You're, poised is the message um, you, need to, you need to hear. So um, yeah, let me, let me finish with a um, few trinkets. See if we have some, some more information. So please for pile number two, what do they need to know? We have the little compass and oh we have a little fairy so yes please oh and it's absolutely the same i don't know if you can see this um i will take care of the compass later so i will hold this into the camera hoping that you can see this the little fairy is exactly the same image than than uh than what we see on the card so this is really really a beautiful confirmation um do not fret it's totally fine you will be um whatever comes whatever comes because we still don't exactly know it's still unexpected uh for for me and for you as well um but please just just be sure that that um everything will be fine i'm, I'm guaranteeing you everything will be fine with this unexpected thing that is coming to you and here we have um this little compass i hope you can see this um, and the compass says, oh, it goes on the drama, um, exactly here, you can see this. So um, the compass just tells me, um, well, there's a, there's a saying in French, uh, ne pas perdre le nord, it means don't, don't lose the north, don't lose, um, I don't know if there's a, there's a saying in English um, that, that means the same, that goes the same way, it means uh, keep your keep your eye on the prize would be would be yeah but it's not exactly the same thing so keep your eyes on the on the um, on the north of the compass so you you know exactly where you're going because um, you need to go inwards you need to go to yourself to be able to receive this this wonderful gift that is coming to you so wow what a what a beautiful reading I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please do me a favor, com comment and subscribe if you, if you need, want to let me know uh, that you liked the reading, that you resonated with it. Um, and if you want a personal reading, just click the link below in the description box and we'll see each other very soon. Bye bye, bye for now. Very welcome, Earth, uh, sorry, air sign, um, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, if you chose pile number three. So let's start directly into what we'll have. Okay, I see the cards and I'm sending you a huge hug and please do not be afraid. We will see what, these, uh, what this all means. Um, but we have as the first card, we have fear. So if you chose pile number three, you might be afraid of something right now. We have orphaned. We have inheritance. We have flirtation and we have flattery. Okay, so let me see what this means. So um, the first thing I see is that um, there might be fear in, uh, in your aura quite right now, um, but as I, as I see the card, maybe, maybe you, can, you can see it too, there's this other little person here um, that is protected by this this um, this yellow golden aura, and we have this um, this other person like representing the fear all around. So maybe um, maybe you are um, taking something that makes you feel afraid or that that makes you anxious that that makes you feel this this existential angst maybe as well um too much to heart 
because actually you are not alone. Uh, I see this card flirtation in the middle of, of, uh, of the reading here and it certainly says, it certainly tells me that uh, yeah, maybe love is on the way, maybe love is uh, something you will find if you're single in the next um, in the next week, so there will be flir flirtatiousness in the air. Um, but it certainly tells me you can flirt with life. You can um, you can allow yourself to be a little more um, to, to to be lighter than than the fear and and this uh, this feeling of of being orphaned just uh, leaves you there right now. Um, and with the the flattery, it's um, it's Venus, it's Venus in uh, in Gemini. You have um, twice two um, two people to, or two two faces um, watching each other or turning away from from each other, and you can see um, the the ones that are set in stone, the ones that are very um, carved, that are very um, fixed they turn away from each other so this is what fear makes us do we turn away from from ourselves we turn away from others that could help us um, and these 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 other two I can I don't know if you if you can see them well um, they are turned to each other and they are um, they are able to to communicate uh, they're not talking but they they're looking at each other and this is this is the message that if you if you are able to turn to yourself, if you are able to turn to loved ones with, um, with this, this flirtatious lightness that, uh, to, your, to your heart, then um, this, this fear and this, this feeling of being alone and being orphaned and being just, um, just left alone will go away. But it's in your hand and you're an asshole and you can do this. You can do this with... Um, with this um if not you nobody can so i'm sure you can do this be more light-hearted be more um yeah allow yourself to to lift up a little bit and this will certainly this is this is sort of your your inheritance um from from your your being an air sign that you are able to do this so let's see what else we need to know? What are the messages for pile number three, please? What does pile number three need to know for the next few weeks? Okay, so I'm taking jumpers. I was just about to say, I'm taking jumpers. And there's one where there was this one card that just wanted to jump right in back into the deck. So this wasn't the message for you. So please. Messages for pile number three, air signs in the next few weeks. Oh, and there we have the King of Cups. I love this. And strength. Anything else? Anything else that pile number three needs to know? Okay. This is it then. Oh. So we have the Four of Cups. We have the king of cups we have strength and the six of pentacles okay so um here again we have with the four of cups and i was just talking about the four of cups in the uh, in pile number two so if you have been drawn to pile number two just go and have a look because they do have this card as well but in the other in from another deck and it's um, a total different representation. So for you, pile number three, we have this four of cups like more in a classical way. It's more like um, a cup of, um, of um, a cup, a card of boredom, a card of um, I do not know if I can take this offer of the fourth cup. Um, I have th these three cups and they suit me well. Uh, I don't know what this fourth cup will will offer me. I don't know if if I can accept this help and uh, this is really really important message for you just accept the help that is offered to you just accept it even if it feels like um like work and even if it feels like you have to um you don't feel like taking it because you feel like you have to give back um the card of the six pentacles just tells me um either way you will be giving back but it will not cost you 
um, the help will come from, from friends, from family, from the divine even. even. Uh, this is a divine hand offering you this, uh, this fourth cup. So you do not need to be afraid of what it will cost you to accept the help. Um, because it will be um, an equal give and take for, for everything. Maybe you will pay it forward in another way. Maybe you will pay it forward to somebody else. Um, just accept the help. You do not need to, to be afraid of, uh, of debts. So, and here we have um, the King of Cups, and I like this card very much. I don't know if you can see it. Um, he's sitting on this throne uh, above, the, um, above the waves, but um, for me, it's like he's sitting on this throne uh, above the, the clouds as well. So this is, uh, and this card fell just, I was, I was thinking again about what I just told you about this being more uh, lighthearted, to be more in the air. Um, so this is quite important for all the air signs, for all the piles. Um, it was very important for pile number one, so maybe you might want to, to have a look at this one too. But for you especially, it's important to know that um, this lightheartedness will give you um, much control over your, your emotions. Um, it will make you feel rounded in your emotions, if that makes any sense. Um, it will make you be able to feel everything without being overwhelmed. That's the, that's the most important message, message because fear and this, this feeling of being left alone, it's, um, well, it's, it's, uh, it's breaking my heart when I, when I feel into, into this, when I feel what you might be feeling right now. So the message for you is, and I do not, oh, by the way, I do not feel that this is something that will come to you. It's more, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling more like when you chose this pile, if you chose this pile, it means you feel this right now. And we are looking towards what you can do in the next weeks to lighten this up. So um, being more flirtatious with life will bring you the opportunity and the, uh, and the skill and the, um, and the ability to to really be in your emotions without being overwhelmed um, and to just say like well it's feeling fear uh, feeling left alone it's it's a human feeling right it's a it's a totally normal emotion we all have this at times um, but the really the the real important really important message for you here power three is um, don't don't get stuck in this don't get lost in this because it's just one of the of the emotions and of the human emotions and with the strength card i see here um that you will be able to to tackle this emotion this uh um this heartbrokenness is this even a word in english i don't know um you will you'll be able to to get on top of this um just see well because because the strength card is she's taming this lion but this lion is not something outside it's something inside and she's not killing the lion she's taming the lion so she's accepting his um his energy she's accepting his um his character traits she's accepting his strength and she's saying but i am stronger still and you are a part of me and this feeling of fear and being left alone and being orphaned is just a part of me but i am stronger than this i will not let myself uh, be overwhelmed by it because um, with the king of cups i'm just on top of my emotions i can feel those but they will not drag me down and as i said you're an earth uh, you're an air sign um you will not be dragged down you um this is just not in your nature. So, um, yeah, the message is please, please, please um, try to find a way to, to get back to this flirt flirtation with life, to get back to, to more lightheartedness and accept the help. Because 
Um, you might not be able to do this all on your own and it's totally fine and I'm sending you so much love and a very very big hug. Um, please accept the, 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 the help you can, you can receive from friends and, um, and family and co-workers and, and, and the divine. Yeah. So I will be closing this reading by choosing two trinkets, two or three trinkets. Let's see what we have. Oh, okay. There again. Um, I say again because I had this, um, hope you can see it. It's a little feather. Um, it, it seems to be very important for you, for you air signs, because pile number one had this, had this as well. So being this uh, lofty, airy, light being that you are is, uh, is so important for you. So they want me to put it here on the, on the flotation. Um, and then we have this little, this little couple here under this arch. And um, yeah, so maybe there's, there's love coming. Um, there's love coming for you. Maybe for some of you, it's just not for, for everybody. Uh, so please do not uh, switch off it. If it just doesn't resonate, just leave it for, for the ones um, that it's for. Um, that the fear and this, this uh, feeling of feeling alone um, comes from a breakup that has been taking place um, recently. But what I see here with this, with this couple under this arch is like, um, it's uh, it's a little bit like the the lovers the lovers card, um, which is love actually yeah sure, um, but it's it's always a card of choice as well and it's been blessed by the archangel Michael and um, so what I see here is um, I have to put this this um, upright here between the card fear and the the card orphan because um, it it wants you to tell it wants me to tell you. Um, that the angels are taking care of you and I just said accept the, the help of the divine and accept the blessing of, of, uh, of Archangel Michael um, because whatever happened to you in the recent past, whatever makes you feel this way right now, um, it was meant to be and, and as, um, as one of my, my favorite tarot readers on YouTube just says, um, Rejection is uh, God's protection, so whatever happened, um, it's meant to be for you in a good way and now you need to be in love with, uh, with life again. So I'm sending you so much love, I'm sending you a very, very big hug from my heart to yours. Um, and yeah, please, please let me know if this, if this resonated, please let me know if you have some questions, if you want a personal reading to go deeper and to see uh, whatever you can do. Um, uh, what, what would be the next steps to, to get back to this to this light heartedness? Um, the link are uh, the links are in the, in the description box below. And yeah, it would be my really really great pleasure. I would really appreciate if you could subscribe the channel. So again, much love to you from my heart to yours. Bye bye.